Hey guys and girls, my name is Dan. Welcome back to The Forge in this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith. Let's do some fire work. This episode I'm going to cover fire welding or forge welding, whatever you want to call it. We call it fire welding here in the UK. Uh, and I'm going to go over the basic principles uh, for fire welding up a chain, uh, making the scarves, doing the bending and welding it all together. The bars basically are 5 eighths by 10 inches and 5 eighths long or 16mm um, round by 270mm long. That will give you the right size link. Um, don't worry so much about the radiuses, they kind of naturally go to their own radius once you weld them together. I'm going to get on with this fire welding tutorial, uh, I'm going to go through the scarves, uh, the bending up process and the welding process. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the bar, I'm going to place it about halfway in the hardy hole, and I'm going to bend it over. I'm going to put the initial bend in, have a look, Let's go a bit deeper. Alright, and then put a bit of a bend in. Now, I've been quite lucky, I've managed to get the bend fairly even, meaning that I've got the similar size meaning I've got a similar size um, of these ends. Now, if it's for any reason it's off, if you just hit the long side down into the anvil, it will bring those two in line. Like so. Okay, so I'm gonna make the scarves. Now, I would normally do this over the edge of the anvil, uh, on this corner here. Uh, but to show you what I want it to look like, I'm gonna use a set hammer just to uh, give you a rough idea of what the scarves are supposed to look like. Now, the first thing you do is you come down so that the uh, hammer is about quarter of an inch. So the end of the bar is about quarter of an inch on the anvil. using my old to be fair. And you put the first set down in. Like so. So this would normally be done, this would normally be done here on the anvil, like so. Okay, now again on the same side, we're going to do a net, another set down using the set hammer. I'm going to turn it this way a little bit so you can see it better. Again, I'm going to take the set hammer again, and this time I'm going to place it, I'm going to now place it at 45 to that original set down. And then one more, just on the end there, like so. Okay, so we're going to repeat that process, but on the opposite side, on the other side of the link. So, what we want is about three eighths, about a quarter of an inch, and then we're just going to forge that side down like so, then we're going to come across about 45, how can I show you that a bit better, we're going to come across at about 45, and 
And then just one last one just here. Like so. Okay, those three little steps. And that's for our chain link. It's the same on the other side, except for it's not quite as tidy. Right, let's bend these up. I'm gonna take the chain link. I'm gonna hold it over my bit. I'm gonna hold it at about 25 degrees. I'm then gonna forge it round so it looks like that. Now to do the other side. Same again, I'm just gonna come at about 20 degrees. Now I need these two to overlap. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this, get this one out of the way, ever so slightly. And then just like so. You should have something that looks like this. I want this small part of this scarf as far over here as possible. I'm going to send it over a bit more yet before I make sure they're all matching and touching nicely. This side's pretty good. Okay, so you should have something that looks a bit like that. All being well. I'm going to bring it out of the fire, I'm going to tack the two together, like so. Put it back in the fire. Now next weld, I'm going to take this on the side, point five. Start wearing those scarves together. So one finished link. Now I've tied a bit of uh, a bit of wire on here just to show you that this is how they used to test chain back in the day. It makes a nice ring. It means it's all one piece. Um, now you can see that this scarf hasn't quite gone in all the way, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, it took me a bit longer to weld because this scarf came out twice. Um, but it was only this one because of this side you can't see it. So it would been if that one's there, that one would have been there. You can't see the scarf, it went in. All right, and you can't see a joint along there. Okay, so not the best, not the best in the world, but okay. Uh, so this is the size link that I want. I'm gonna make another one now and show you how I um, do it all in one go. Just take it in, out, fire, do the whole process and do the scarfs over the edge of the anvil. In fact, I quite like doing the scarfs with the set hammer. So when I come to make them in the video, uh, I think I might do them with a Smith and Striker that way. And also the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep everything first. So I'm going to cut all the bars. I'm then going to bend up all the bars. I'm then going to put the scarfs in and then going to, yeah, and so on and so forth until, uh, until I have uh, 20 kilos worth. And then I'm just going to go through and fire weld them all up in one go. Uh, just makes my life easier basically.
So, same thing happened again. We've got the scarf there. It's not, um, it's not terrible. I don't think it's that it's not in, I just think it's visible. And it's a bit frustrating that it's visible. Can't see it on the other side. But uh, I saw it happen this time, I saw the scarf come out. So when these two sides get welded together, you get quite a bulge on the top. I put it over the bit and I hit the top and I saw this bit bend out on this side. So uh, I need to learn how to stop that. But yeah, two chains. Two chain links. Uh, I haven't welded them together. I haven't put, put further link in uh, only because I haven't got the stock and I haven't got the time at the minute. A little bit busy. Uh, but they came out lovely. I'm really, 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 really pleased with these. Um, the scarf issue, I don't think is an issue really. I just think you can see it as opposed to it not being welded in. Uh, so that it's not really a problem. They're both nice and, and ringy, as you can hear. If you want to make me one of these, these are the measurements that you need to follow. So I'll say them again. It's 270 millimeters of 16 round bar, or uh, 10, 10 inches and 5 eighths of 5 eighths round bar. Uh, you make me one, make me two, make me three, make me 20, make me as many as you like, I don't care. You just get them to me and I will give you a shout out. If you've got a channel, I'll shout your channel out. Uh, I'll put your name or flash up at some point. Uh, I'll lay all the chains out on the, on the bench or on the floor and show everyone's off. So everyone who helped participate gets a shout out, gets a little nod and a thank you from me. Uh, we're steaming towards um, the 500 uh, of the 2000 subscriber challenge. I'm really excited. Uh, it's a challenge for me as well. I'm not a great fire welder. Uh, it's not something that I particularly enjoy doing, but I want to learn a bit more and get a bit better at it. So we can, uh, we can do that together, um, which is gonna be really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you would like to find out more about fire welding, I'm probably not gonna do any more videos on fire welding. I might do some uh, pattern welding Damascus stuff maybe in the future, but as far as it goes from here, I'm not gonna do any more fire welding except from the challenges and stuff, uh, but no more tutorials. Uh, if you'd like to see something though, uh, there's a guy called Mark Asprey. Uh, I will leave a link to, uh, to a video that he does on fire welding. It's very competent, it talks about um, shear zones, uh, shear planes and welding planes and how to do special types of welds and all sorts of things like that. It's a very competent video, it's got lots of nice drawings on there so you can follow those. That will be in the link below. So, um, if you enjoyed this video remember leave a like. Uh, and also subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, remember, ring that bell for notifications. That way, whenever I make a video, you can get your hands on it super, super duper quick. Uh, if, um, if you then follow that subscribe button, click on the little picture of me, you can go over to my channel and you can join in and find all the other stuff that's going on over there. If you're interested in making a link, or you have any questions about my fire welding uh, demonstration, or uh, you think I did something wrong in this fire welding demonstration, or I could have done something a bit better, uh, please leave a comment down below, or just comments in general. I'm quite happy to talk, answer, uh, have conversations about all sorts of stuff. Uh, so um, please, please do leave a comment. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a link up here to another video of me making some change. I know a bit repetitive, and then I'll chuck the link down here to a random video for you guys to enjoy. So thanks for joining me guys, see you later, goodbye.